does it seem like everywhere you turn, your body is like, it's in your hands, it's leading the way, it's in between everything that you would truly like to do, maybe would like to do, or the things that you're invited to do. You know, like, Michaela, do you wanna go for a hike? Oh, oh, I, I got this body thing, so I don't know. Mm, maybe if it's a really mild one, a really low, you know, low caliber one, maybe. Hey, Michaela, do you want to go to a movie? It's like, oh, oh, um, well, this body, what can I put on it that'll be comfortable, that'll fit? Hey, 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 there's... We're, there's a few, we're getting together. We haven't seen each other in so long. And it's like, oh, hmm, this body thing, they're gonna see my body. Mm, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I'll decide, I don't know, can I just let you know? What happens? What are we doing? Is that, does this sound familiar? in all kinds of ways, it could be getting in our way. It's like we're always hanging on to it, keeping it between. Maybe it's how our brain works. Like, oh, I just, you know, if you've been in my world for a while, you, you will have heard me talk about how, you know, it has been challenging for me to get things lined up to sort of plan ahead and decide. And it's like I'm trying to do things in a way that, didn't work for me. It was just like, it was always this weight of my thinking was always in the way, always in the way, always in between, slowing me down, dragging me down. This is like a heavy freaking ball of thought that we keep in front, in between what we really want to do what's possible for us. And we have this decide. Well, my body says, my body says, is it really your body? Because your body, your body responds to your thinking. So whatever you're thinking, you're, you're sparking off a chemical reaction in the body. And we feel it and then we get to feel it. We experience it. We feel it in different places. I do energy healing work. So one of the things that'll often come up when there's like a lot of, whether it's pain, physical pain, or whether it's, well, often it'll show up as physical pain, but it's actually something coming from our own thinking. So we'll look, it's like, where is it in the body? We always know where it is. We can feel it showing up somewhere. Just being with it, just allowing it to pass, to lighten. And it will, because it's energy. It moves. Energy is meant to move. So it will pass when our attention goes to like where it is in our, in our body and away from our thinking that caused it in the first place. We get further away from it. It moves on, it moves through. Ooh, <laughs> it really is heavy. It really is. And we're carrying it around all the time. So what if we just got present to it? What if we just got present? You can get present to it. Find out what's really needed. I'm betting that it's not what you have been thinking all these years that it is that need that it needs if you're anything like me all the things that i thought i needed to happen with my body before i could do the things that i really wanted to do what needed to change in my life let's talk about other things when my kids are older when this when that, if this, then that could happen. 
what I've really discovered over the past few years, and, and I'm seeing new and fresh all the time around this, more and more. This is a life journey. This isn't a one and done, just change my thinking about that and everything's going to be peachy keen. Well, that's not my experience. I have had, as it relates to, you know, an abuse of alcohol, I did have an insight that was so profound and I, I don't even know what it was that I saw differently that changed things and it stopped just like that. There is that. That can totally happen. That's not been my personal experience with my body. I did have an insight a few years ago and it's like, oh, wow, okay, this changes everything. And over the past few years, I'm seeing more and more incrementally how, you know, I'll still pick up the weight and carry it and put it in between being me, doing the things that my spirit wants to do. As long as I am human, as long as you're human, this will happen. And that's okay. It's okay. Because once you've caught on to it, once you've caught on to the trickery of your own thinking about it, of how you keep picking up this weight and putting it in between and lugging it around and, you know, doing all kinds of like, well, let me see if I can... We don't need to do that. We can put it right down. And yes, we will forget and we'll pick it up again. But when you remember, when you notice that you've picked up that weight, that heavy thinking weight, saying that my brain doesn't work well in this, I can't do it, not true. You can, you can do it in your own way. The more you, you are, the easier it will become and the more delightful, the more satisfying, the more successful you will feel. You will be delighted and surprised by what is available to you. When you look to being more of who you naturally are, your true nature, when you look to that, you have dropped the weight. When you look to being more you, the weight is dropped. When you look to, hey, well, what, what, would be, what would be fun today? What would be good today? What, what should I do today? How can this be fun and easy? Organizing this thing, planning these things, when my brain, it's like, oh, my brain doesn't work like that. Well, how does it work for me? How does it work for me? Can you imagine if we all did things the exact same way? If we all look the same? If we all express the same? How humdrum life would be? Your body is made specifically for you, for the energy of you, for the expression of you. Only you. It is a gift. It's a vehicle. We get to express through it and then experience that expression. That's what's happening. We're experiencing our own expression, our own thinking, our own meaning that we're making of anything. That's it. We're not experiencing anything outside of us, including our body. We experience only the thinking and the meaning we make of it. We are putting our own weight of thinking in the way of who we really are, of how we really want to live in this world, how we really want to express the things we want to explore, adventure through. So, you know, this weight is going to come back. It'll show up in different ways. It'll get sneaky and try to keep you stuck, safe, air, air quotes, safe. But you know better. 
you know better. Just catch it. Let it go. How do you let it go? You put your attention and your focus on what it is that you really want to do. What's really important to you? What would be fun? What lights you up from inside? Because I don't know about you, but all the things that this puts in my mind to do or not do, or I could or I shouldn't or whatever, it does not light me up. It does not light me up. Now, putting down the weight of our thinking, does it mean that all of a sudden our body is going to magically change into, you know, the, the one that we've been dreaming about since we were 12 or 13 years old? I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. What I do know is when we allow ourselves to be more of who we are and express as that, our body is our vehicle. It's like it is our ride and it's also along for the ride. It will adapt and it'll do whatever we want it to do. I mean, if you're missing a limb, I, I don't know if you can grow one back. I know you can get things to replace them. If you've got something going on in your body, I know I've seen people who still have, you know, they have things going on in their body, maybe that they never experienced before, whether it's a sickness or a disease or something new, something different. And I've seen them carry on and live a satisfying, happy, delightful life. The only difference between someone who, you know, has maybe pain. I, honest to God, I, I, I've never had chronic pain. I don't know what it's like. So I feel for you if you have that. And even with that, I know that it is possible for you to have that relieved, lessened, and, and, take, and, can, and take action, do things that you really want to do, that you've always wanted to do always wanted to like test that out try that out that sounds like fun oh but what if what if the pain becomes too much and I can't well that's okay that's okay you can adjust for that as well you will know I don't know no one else will know but I know that the energy of you the spirit of you if something is coming through you to do that lights you up from inside and you have something going on in your body that seems to be preventing you from that. I know that if it's coming up through you, from your spirit, from the energy of all that you are, then I know there is a way for you to do it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. It wouldn't have come up. That's what I believe. So I invite you to just notice how this weight of our thinking puts gets us in the way. It might, it might not be the body. Today I'm talking about the body. Sometimes it's money. Sometimes it's like, well, I don't have enough. And in order to do that, I got to do this job or I got to do that work or I got it. It's like, oh, and I'm too tired. And I don't want to do that work anymore. There's oh, like, we move it around and we morph it. We morph it. So it can be about anything. That's keeping, that's we're putting in between living our delightful life now and allowing our body to adapt to whatever it is we put our attention on. Those who I have worked with, the discomfort or thinking, the, the, the thinking about it, the pain or, you know, the confusion, you know, ADD those kinds of things where our, 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 our nervous system is just different, highly high sensitivity, me too. It's never there 100% of the time. Never. I've never heard anyone say that it's 100% of the time. Now, why is that? I mean, get curious about that for yourself. Is it there 100% of the time? It's not. It's not. Because when we light our attention on something that is 
you know, it's grabbed hold of our heart and our spirit and we're engaged in it and we're full on in it. All of those other things fall away. The discomfort kind of falls away. I know there's more possible for you and for me. Because I know I got my own blind spots. I don't know what they are. But I do know that I keep, the blinders will come off and I'll catch them. It's like, oh, wow, I didn't notice that. Caught something new. And more and more, life becomes more joyful, easier, more space in between picking up the ball. Longer space without it. Longer time without it. When it does come up, it doesn't, it doesn't stick around. It doesn't stick around as long because I've caught on to it. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, I can see it. It's right there. And I can't let it go. I can't let it go. Sometimes it's a few days before I can finally like, oh, okay. Energy broke. I can think past that. Past it, it doesn't mean that it's still there. It's gone. It's dropped. I can have my attention will go on to something else. It's true. This is available for you and for me more and more and more. We're here to go back home. We're he and home is who we really are, who we were when we first came into this world. That part of us has not changed. It's one, it's, well, I shouldn't say that. In the, I mean, yes, there's, you know, I just met up with a girlfriend I haven't been in touch with for 25 years. And it was marvelous to get to know her again. And I feel like there's so much more to know. And also to recognize what's always been there. And her for me too. There's some things, there's an essence that doesn't change. It's there, it's part of us. You can't shake that. This you can. You can shake that in a heartbeat. And you don't want to shake who you really are. You don't. You actually want to get back to that. There's freedom and peace and delight and wonder in that and living from that, expressing that. And there's always more. We're creative beings. We're meant to keep evolving, keep doing different things, new things. We don't know what they're going to be. We're living out of the unknown. That's what makes it so delightful. When we live our life only from only from what we know and what we've been programmed, you know, the programs that are running in our mind, when we live from there, it's like life is whole hum. It's when we start to get bitter and angry and dissatisfied, disappointed. The opposite is available. Delight and wonder, satisfaction, peacefulness, success. What that, whatever that is for you, that's available. I hope this is helpful. I hope this has sparked in you, sparked you, who you really are, because that's what I'm here to do. I want to help you to know yourself more, better, so you can trust yourself, so you can express more of who you are in the world. And delight not just yourself, but others too. Others too. So, ciao for now. <laughs>